Hello everybody. Sorry it's been a while. Hopefully I can get caught up and back on track pretty soon. Our next camera is from the dawn of the digital era. It's the Apple Quick Take 200. Uh, came out in 1997. Uh, it was made for Apple by Fujifilm. It's essentially the same camera as the DS7. Shoots VGA resolution, 640 by 480 in 24-bit uh, color. I've had this camera for quite a while, um, but I never had media for it. This is the 5 volt smart media with the notch on the left. It's the 5 volt. It's rare and stupidly expensive. Uh, anyway, I picked up a second one. It was a more complete kit. The camera doesn't work, but it came with a couple of memory cards. Um, it has a 1.8 inch color LCD. Uh, it's whining because I took the memory card out of it right now. Uh, and then it has an optical viewfinder, which you just uh, clip on. And that allows you to save some power because these old LCDs were pretty power hungry. Uh, this thing takes four double A's and it burns through them pretty fast. Um, this is the memory slot and then on the other side it's got composite video out uh, for showing your stills on a TV and this two and a half millimeter audio type jack it's actually RS-232 that was one of the ways of getting uh, pictures off of the camera the Apple one came with those old circular 8 uh, Apple serial cables. The Fuji came with a 9-pin RS-232 cable. Uh, it has uh, an 8mm lens equivalent to a 48mm on a 35mm camera. It does zone focusing using uh, this selector right here. Close-up is 3.5 to 5.1 inches. So close-up is actually pretty nice on this. Portrait in the middle that's 17.7 .7 to 35.4. And then the uh, distance with the uh, mountain icon is for 35.4 onto infinity. Uh, the sensor is ISO 100. You have selectable, selectable F stops, but just F2.2 and F8. And then the shutter really handles the exposure. It goes from a quarter of a second to one five thousandth of a second. Pretty amazing for 1997. This has no flash, no PC sync cord, no hot shoe, no cold shoe. There is no provision for flash whatsoever. So this thing is pretty much a daylight camera. There's not a lot of controls on this camera. Um, it has the setting for fine and then the not as high res. It's like 320 by something. Pretty low resolution. Uh, a, a setting for reviewing multiple images at once on this tiny LCD. Uh, reviewing images one at a time, locking images, and deleting images. And then you step through the submenus using these. It's not zoom controls. In addition to the cable, to get images off of this, um, there are some readers that will do the smart media. It's hard to find one that will do the 5 volt. In fact, some of them, one that I have, was advertised as doing it, but it won't even slot in because it's expecting the notch to be on the other side, the 3.3 volt. Um, the way I've been getting images off of this is this bizarre little gizmo. It's a Fuji floppy disk adapter. Um, takes a couple of button batteries back here. You put your card in and then you put it into a floppy drive. It does require a special device driver because smart media is basically an EEPROM chip. There's no control, there's no file system. It's just a non-volatile memory chip. So you do need to put drivers um, I found some really old ones that did work on uh, Windows XP. That's the most modern I've been able to find. Hopefully I'll still be able to find a, uh, a USB reader that'll do the 5-volt smart media. So 
that is about it. It's actually kind of a fun camera. You know, it's more of a lark to, to get one going and be able to use it. But I've really been enjoying it. I'll uh, put some more pictures over on the blog, and I'll see you then.